Welcome to Wings of Advanced Education and Research Organization. Today we are going to see about hypersonic wind tunnel technology. Wind tunnels are mainly designed to generate flow field in the working section, simulating the typical flow features of the flow. Power requirement of a wind tunnel increases with cross section, the flow density and directly proportional to third power of rest velocity. The desire to get target quicker and take payloads into a space in cheaper is now driving us towards the need of hypersonic system. On a scale model wind tunnels are used to find the actual flow condition and aerodynamic properties of hypersonic wind tunnel. Hypersonic wind tunnel can operate in high Mach number ranging from 5 to 12, this can be achieved by convergent divergent nozzle. This wind tunnel consists of compressor, heater, nozzle, test section, diffuser, second throat and vacuum. Goal of wind tunnel designed to generate a uniform airflow with minimum turbulence intensity and low flow angle. The following are the essential parts of hypersonic wind tunnel heater, valve, first throat, test section, diffuser, second throat, vacuum chamber, vacuum pump, multi-stage. Heater is used to avoid the condensation at the test section due to high velocity flow. The high stagnation temperature is attained using different type of heaters. Combustion electric resistance and arc jet heaters are preferred to use in long duration operation. It is comprised of fixed contraction followed by constant area diffuser duct. It will reduce the flow Mach number. The reduction executes a complex 3D shock pattern. Shock wave will interact with boundary layer. A deceleration takes place followed by subsonic flow. Wave in the convergent section of channel. Interaction of shock wave with nozzle axis lead to formation of curvilinear mock disc with a region of unsteady subsonic flow in the vicinity of throat. Into a high pressure air storage vessel the atmospheric air is compressed, dried and recompressed and charged to the vessel. Vacuum pumps are used to evacuate the vacuum spheres when the required initial storage pressure reach in the pressure vessels. The settling chamber is used to get low velocity homogeneous flow free of turbulence. After all the systems are ready the blow down, the tunnel is ready to start. Air supplied in the pressure vessel are heated in the heater, as the pressure reaches a required value the valve opens and hot air passes through the settling chamber. High temperature and pressure expanded through the nozzle to give the controlled environment. When the model is placed in the test section air is allowed to flow around it. The test section air is decelerated in diffuser and passes through a cooler and collect by vacuum space. Blowdown is stopped when the pressure reaches a required value, cycle is repeated. Hypersonic wind tunnel consists of three systems of high pressure system, tunnel system and vacuum system. High pressure system in the upstream and vacuum system on the downstream. Tunnel system consists of a settling chamber, set of nozzles test section supersonic and subsonic diffusers, connecting duct and after cooler. In hypersonic testing due to high pressure ratio for testing, vacuum system is required in downstream. It consists of three spherical storage tank of 2200 meter cube capacity each with vacuum level of 0.01 bar. One dot thin shock layer, the important effect of this are shock layer and boundary layer merge. Two dot entropy layer in high Mach number flows, detached shock is formed in front of the blunt body shape. Stagnation streamline will undergo large increase in entropy compared to streamline that undergo weaker shock, this create entropy gradient among downstream of body. Three dot viscous interaction, when viscous force acts on the body kinetic energy is converted to internal energy. Due to increase in temperature, coefficient of viscosity also increases this will make boundary layer thicker. To improve the characteristics of wind tunnel we have to increase the speed of airflow. For that various methods can be adopted. If we increase the throat area of convergent divergent nozzle and there will be resulting change in the velocity of airflow. By studying the changes we can adopt a suitable method to increase the velocity of air in the wind tunnel. Another method to increase the air velocity in wind tunnel is to increase the pressure difference between the air entering and vacuum. 
Thus, hypersonic wind tunnel with high Mach number can be developed and can be used for testing space vehicles. Subscribe to Wings of Aero YouTube channel and click at the bell icon to get our new video notifications.